should consider the use of epinephrine for patients with status asthmaticus. Welcome back to day DSE 6 of Critbits. That's some high school Spanish. Today we're talking about patients with status asthmaticus. Now the patient with status asthmaticus, they look terrible when they come in and you're going to give them the usual. You're going to give them NEBS, steroids, magnesium. You're going to use non-invasive inhalation. Consider the person that's tight and is not moving a lot of air. How is that person going to get nebulized medication all the way down to those beta receptors on that smooth muscle? That albuterol is not really doing anything. That's where epinephrine comes into play. Epinephrine is the original beta agonist. Because you don't have to worry about inhaling it by putting it intramuscularly or intravenously, it's going to be able to conduct its beta agonism at its target organ reliably and effectively. Once a person starts to bronchodilate and start moving air, you can move away from an epinephrine strategy and move back to your traditional nebulized albuterol strategy. This is not for all patients with asthma. This is for a very select population of patients, those with status asthmaticus, who you only have a fixed amount of time to make them better or they can go into respiratory failure. That's why